Hey guys. Hey guys, I'm Terry Holland. I'm a master performance coach, trainer of NLP, hypnotherapy, and timeline therapy. And I coach people to get from where they are to where they want to be in a short period of time. So I don't know if anyone's going to jump on here. I'm doing this off my personal page because I've been having some issues um, with live video on my, my business page. So um, I want to talk about gratitude today. You see, I've been noticing. Hi, Janet. Thanks for joining me. I've been noticing that with this cold weather we're having in Canada that people are complaining highly. The people have been complaining a lot about the cold weather. And, and I get it, I totally get it. This time of year, there's, there can be a lot of stress, a lot of pressures on us. The days are short, there's less sunlight, and all the holiday stress, family stress, and that can pile up on a person. And then we start to complain a lot about things. So I want to, hi, thanks for joining. Uh, so I want to encourage you to focus on what you're grateful for in your life, because it's really easy to get sucked into that, those feelings of, oh, it's cold outside and it's dark and money issues and all that stuff. Hey, Kate, thanks for coming on. But, you know, I want you to look at all the amazing things in your life. Because studies have shown that when you are grateful, when you're coming from a place of gratitude, when you really feel grateful, that you can't feel down. You can't feel sadness when you're feeling grateful. So what I do and what I encourage you to do is every day write down at least three things that you're grateful for that happened within the last 24 hours. And I say the last 24 hours because sometimes people get they get stuck and they just write down the same things every day. But I really want to encourage you to look for three brand new things that you're totally grateful for. And don't just write it down. Feel grateful in that moment. Get into a state of gratitude. Appreciate all the amazing things that you have in your life. And the more that you practice gratitude and the more that you notice that you have to be grateful for, the more that you'll have to be grateful for. So don't worry about the weather. Don't worry about how cold it is outside or what's happening in the economy or the election in the States or any of that stuff. Focus on what you have in your life that's wonderful and amazing and incredible and you'll see more of that show up in your life. And, and if you're really struggling this year, if you're really struggling with depression around the holiday season and, and if you're having a hard time coping, then I encourage you to reach out to somebody who can help whether that's your family doctor or a counselor or someone like myself who's trained in NLP and timeline therapy. NLP and timeline therapy are powerful tools for assisting in overcoming depression and anxiety. So I encourage you to reach out and get the help you need. But if you're just feeling a little bit down and a little frustrated with the weather, then practice gratitude and what you have to be grateful for this holiday season. Because if you have a roof over your head and a warm home and food in your belly, that's a lot to be grateful for right there. So don't worry that it's colder out than we've had in a while. Don't worry about that. Instead, notice how beautiful the snow looks in the moonlight. Go out and have some fun playing in the snow. Down in Vancouver, we rarely get snow. This is a treat for us. Take your kids out, take your dog out in the snow. And if that's not your thing, then appreciate being inside where it's warm and have a nice evening inside watching a movie and be grateful that you can do that. So I really encourage you to shift your focus to what you're grateful for this holiday season. What is it? I'm just reading some comments here. I'm grateful for the 10 pounds I've lost and how good I feel. That's fantastic, Janet. Congratulations. Oh, and Merry Christmas to you too, Lee. Yeah, thank you. I really appreciate all the comments and for you, for all of you taking the time to, to sign in here. Thank you so much. I'm going to head out now because we have a holiday party to get to with some amazing friends. And um, But post below. Keep posting your comments. Share with us what you're grateful for today. Aw, thanks, Janet. I'm grateful to have you as my friend as well. Nice, Doug. See, that's awesome. I'm grateful for all the snow I was able to shovel and get two workouts extra per day. That's a great way to look at it. So thank you so much. And you know what I'm grateful for? I'm grateful to have so much support for my community and for my friends in growing my business this year. This has been a monumental year and it's people like you supporting what I'm doing that, that has really helped me grow. So thank you so much. Oh, thanks, Janet. We will. We're, our party is just couple blocks away so we'll be very safe tonight 
Thank you so much, guys. I hope you have a great night and please keep sharing what you're grateful for and I'll keep monitoring the comments as well tonight. Have a great night, guys. Bye.